Hi YouTube fans, it's David here again from DP Computing. Today we've got a Dell Inspiron, I think it's a 11 3000 series. I'm just going to um, take the back off to get to the, I believe it's an SSD in here. So I need to scan that on another machine. So uh, before we start, just a word of warning. Uh, pre please proceed at your own risk. If you see anything different to what you see in front of you there, please see a professional and also take anti-static precautions. Now the first thing you have to do is remove the power which plugs in the top here, make sure that's out. And usually I say remove the battery, but the battery must be internal in this unit. So we can't do that. So we'll just remove these screws and see how we go. So while I'm doing this, um, please check out our YouTube channel and subscribe um, and if you have any questions or anything I'll try my best to answer them so just leave them in the messages below so these are just small Phillips head screws so that's always nice and fun watching someone unscrew something and they've all been the same size as well so this one does want to come out nicely there we go now side of the case comes up there we go. Oh, I might just get bear with me a second I've just got some other plastic uh, little grommet things so it won't damage the actual case. So just be careful when you're doing this that you don't actually break any of the clips. So if something just doesn't come first time, just don't force it. Just either go a bit further along or go around to the other side and start it. There we go, now there's the innards of this unit. We've got the battery here. Got memory, the fan, the Wi-Fi module, BIOS battery, um, card reader. Uh, looks like the CPU there with the fan and heat sink. Uh, so the first thing we'll do is remove this battery here. So the battery is just connected into there. So there's the battery. It's a 43 watt standard battery with a type GK5KY. 
So let's see if we can get that in focus there. There we go. Now the hard drive looks to be held in by another two screws. And we've got the little SATA connector, so just be careful when you're removing that. There we go. It's held in by a little bit of tape, it looks like, on this side. So there you go, and that's held in by a little caddy with another four screws there. So one, two, three, four, so you can remove them if you want to get to the hard drive to replace that. So there we go. As I said, the BIOS battery is there. We've got the fan, got memory. The memory is held in by two little silver clips. Just plug, push them to the sides and up it pops and you can pull it out. And then you can plug it back in. Just do the reverse of what we did. So just push it in and then push it down to you hear it click. Um, so there we go. There's a very brief teardown of this Dell Inspiron 11 3000 series unit. Thank you for watching and we'll catch you next time. Bye for now.